Welcome back everybody. In this video, we got two uh, questions to solve here where we're adding and subtracting more rational expressions. So starting off with number one, we got seven over x squared minus x minus six minus four x over x squared minus seven x plus 12. First step, you always check, can you factor anything? And notice that we could factor this denominator into x minus 3 times x plus 2. And then uh, this denominator here, that can factor into x minus 3 times x minus 4, like that. So after you factor, what you want to do is you want to state the restrictions. So notice x minus 3, let's do it down here, cannot equal 0. So it means x cannot equal positive 3. Then uh, x plus 2 cannot equal 0, which means x cannot equal negative 2. And then here, x minus 4 cannot equal 0, which means x cannot equal positive 4, like that. And then after that, you want to simplify. So since we are subtracting rational expressions, you want to get a lowest common denominator. So notice that x minus 3 is common in both. So that will be there. Now we have an x plus 2 here, but there's no x plus 2 over here. So we're definitely going to have to multiply this by x plus 2 and then the top by x plus 2. And then x plus 2 will be down here. And then there's also an x minus 4 here. So there's no x minus 4 here, so this x minus 4, and then this top is going to be x minus 4. And then we can just simplify. So distribute that inside the bracket, we'll have 7x minus 28. And then here we'll have minus 4x squared, or uh, you know what, actually before we expand, let's keep the 4x outside, and then the x plus 2, like that just because sometimes students only distribute the negative to the first term, but this is a minus 4x here. So you're gonna have to distribute it inside that whole bracket. And then um, what's this gonna simplify to? So we'll have x minus three, x plus two, x minus four. Um, let's actually do this on the side here. So we got seven x minus 28 minus four x, x plus two. So this would be uh, minus 8x or uh, minus 4x squared. This would be minus 8x plus 7x. So that would give us uh, minus x. And then this would be still minus 28. And then you want to check, can this factor further? And it actually doesn't. If we want, we could take out a negative. So this could be like 4x squared plus x plus 28, make it look a little nicer. But this here, 4 times 28, would give us 112. There's no two numbers that multiply to 112 and add up to 1, or at least no whole numbers. So we can write that. We could take out the negative there. But that there is your final answer. And those are the restrictions. Moving on to number two, we got two over three x squared plus six x plus three minus 11 over two x squared minus four x minus six. I actually changed this denominator from the way it was written before. It was written incorrectly. So this is the correct version of number two. So first thing you want to do is make sure everything is factored. So notice this three x squared. Let's actually factor this on the side here. We could take out a three from all of this, so we'd have x squared plus two x plus one. And then this here would factor into x plus one times x plus one, which is just x plus one squared. And then here we could take out a, um, let's actually rewrite it first. Take, uh, take out a two from everything, so x squared minus two x minus three. And then that would factor into x minus three x plus 1, like that. So we can rewrite this as 2 over 3 bracket x plus 1 squared minus 
11 over 2 x minus 3 x plus 1 like that and then once we factored everything we can uh, find the restrictions so notice x plus 1 let's do them up here actually x plus 1 cannot equal 0 which means x cannot equal negative 1 and then uh, this x plus 1 we already took care of here and then x minus 3 cannot equal 0 which means x cannot equal positive 3 so two restrictions in this case and then we just simplify so we got to get a um, lowest common denominator so notice how we have two numbers here 3 and 2 so what's the lowest common denominator between 3 and 2 it's 6 so we include the 6 there and we got x plus 1 squared and we got x plus 1 here by itself. Both of these factors are the same. When you have two factors that are the same, you always take the highest exponent. So this is like x plus 1 to the power of 1. This is x plus 1 to the power of 2. So the higher exponent is x plus 1 to the power of 2. And then um, x minus 3 is here, but it's not here. So we do have to include x minus 3. And this is a totally uh, different factor than x plus 1 so it has to be included okay so this 3 x plus 1 squared what do we have to multiply to get to this well we definitely have to multiply the 3 by 2 so that would be multiplied in and then notice there's no x minus 3 here so we multiply this by x minus 3 so here we would multiply the top by 2 and by x minus 3. We're multiplying it by two things. Then here, to get from here to here, this 2, we have to multiply by 3. And then x minus 3, x minus 3, that's already there. Then we got the x plus 1 to the power of 1, and then x plus 1 to the power of 2. So we've got to multiply that by x plus 1, right, to get this to the power of 2. So multiply this by 3 and then this by x plus 1, like that. Okay, so from here, notice 2 times 2, that gives us 4. This is going to be bracket x minus 3. And then um, here we'll have negative 1 times 11 times 3, which gives us minus 33. And then this will be bracket x plus 1, like that. Okay, and then we uh, simplify the numerator. So here we'll have um, 4x minus, uh, let me actually do this on the side here. So we got uh, 4x minus 12 minus 33x minus 33. So 4x minus 33x gives us negative 29x. And then minus 12 minus 33, that would give us, um, what, negative uh, 45? Negative 12 minus 33, negative 45, like that. And then this here, this can't really simplify any further. We could take out a negative, but uh, other than that, nothing's really going to simplify there. So uh, let's actually take out the negative. So this would be minus, and this would be 29x plus 45, like that. So that is what the numerator simplifies to. So we'll have minus bracket 29x plus 45. And then we just rewrite that uh, denominator from before. So 6 bracket x plus 1 squared times x minus 3. So that's what it simplifies to, and then those are the restrictions.